Welcome to our first episode of The Nature Guy. Here at the Jersey Shore, we find some of the most unique examples of exotica. We are specifically at Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Let's take a look to see what we can discover. Heat radiating from the boardwalk planks, I plunge courageously into foreign terrain. A prime example of the local wildlife is the board game Barker. We found one nearby. We have to approach cautiously so as not to startle him in his natural habitat. Hello there. How are you? It's important to learn local customs. Please, tell us something about yourself. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. I don't speak Turkish, so I decide to move on. Nearby we find an example of the teal-toed board barker, a seasonally migratory species. I believe this one is a female. So please, tell me, what is it that attracts you to Seaside Heights? I like it because of the different kinds of people. I try to con them into playing my game. Everybody gets a prize over here. And do you ever return home? Yes. After the season here, I always go back to Michigan. So, what's your favorite local food? Down here, I'd have to say fried slippers. Much of the wildlife at Seaside Heights is nocturnal. But with escalating crime rates, my cameraman is afraid to go out after dark. There are significant subspecies of the night dwellers, existing primarily out of sunlight, remaining cloistered in the shadowy environs of the Boardwalk Arcade. Warning. One member of the arcade dwelling family is the dwindling species known as the Large Thumbed Pinball Addict. Heavily engrossed in his favorite activity, his concentration is hard to break. Let us return to the light of day. can be quite dangerous. More feared even than the local lobsters are the mobsters and of course the hardcore Christian fundamentalist conservative Republicans. But I digress. Among the many migratory species that flock to seaside heights every year are the bennies, of which we have many different kinds. We'll not concern ourselves with highly territorial guidos, either indigenous or migratory prowling this habitat. Occasionally, the offspring of cougars, both breeds possess aggressive predatory instincts. Beep, beep. This day we stalk rare species like the flip-flop-footed Philadelphians, venturing from the safety of their beach blanket nest, likely foraging for hot dogs and cheesy fries. The semi-aquatic Cerver Gerlichus erectus rides the foaming sea like Venus on a short pole. The alpha male badge crested boys in blue, ever vigilant, dominate the top of the chain, always ready to swoop down at the slightest sign of trouble. The refreshment serving Eastern Block Cutie is truly domesticated, trained to fetch tasty treats with a ready smile. This suburban housewife of Kiss Vacationa should not be disturbed, as it is fiercely protective of its cubs when roused. Myriad alien species roost here, attracted by foodstuffs not commonly found in their own neck of the woods, and by abundant watering holes, the setting for sundry, often comical, mating rituals. A key element in attracting a mate these days is the presenting of brightly colored markings. Once the exclusive province of bikers, marines, and holocaust victims, tattoos are now widespread. Among the waves of migratory sojourners we find the grind-grinding Gen X couple, always spotted in pairs, these heterosapiens bathe profusely in affordable shoreline motel rooms. The beer-bellied bar wobbler crews the blues perched on boardwalk bar stools. The tight-laced shoe bee typically shies away from soft beeped sands in favor of the more level boardwalk environs. 
Life swallows the Capistrano, gray main house renters return in an annual pattern right after Memorial Day. They are an important mainstay in this fragile econo balance. The rocking Rolling Stoner cat often roams in packs, sometimes gathering the large herds for concert events or keggers. Party on, dudes! <laughs> Among the other types of bennies found here are the typical New Yorker, Hey Pally, I'm talking here. People from Connecticut, and of course, highly <laughs> vocal members of gay and lesbian rights activists. Under the casino pier, we encounter Batman's insidious nemesis, the Penguin. Here I've encountered some of the local fauna. Please tell me what draws you out to the open environs of the boardwalk. Obviously an ocean-going species then. The richness of Seaside's big game attracts many a hunter intent on beating Obama with a baseball, shooting a guido, or simply bagging a horny barmaid. So, what have we learned in our excursion to Seaside Heights about the local fauna? Well, what we know is that Boardwalk workers are indeed bored, which is why they're probably called board walk workers. We didn't get to see quite as many examples and specimens as we would have liked. We missed the hot, bare-breasted bikini bottom, a favorite of mine, and uh, so I think that perhaps next time we'll come and bring a little bit more of equipment with us so that we can perhaps cage one of these animals, take them back for observation, and we'll measure them, of course tag them, and release them back into the wild, so hopefully we'll be able to catch some examples of their progeny at another date. So thank you for watching, and see you next time on The Nature.